Hey, welcome to SledShot.com. We're here today at Mountain Motorsports working on a 2012 Snow Pro 800. And uh, we'll be doing a belt change, explain some belt deflection and how to's. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start with this one by removing the side panel. Okay, now you wanna grab your OE toolkit here. Um, <clears throat> from the factory, they came uh, on the right-hand side panel and behind the right-hand side panel. I uh, strongly recommend that you remove them from there and keep them someplace a little safer, whether it be in a handlebar bag, a goggle bag, or at the back in a tunnel bag. So what you'll require to change your belts on this machine is a 10 mil wrench and uh, the large washer that's in the kit. So we'll start with those. I'm going to grab our 10 mil wrench. And you can see here, as I'm tightening this bolt, the belt is falling deeper into the driven pulley. Seal it off. Now, if this is a brand new factory machine, you'll have quite a bit of foam down and around the primary clutch, and it makes it a little harder to change the belt. So, um, after your first belt change, you'll probably want to remove that foam out of there. So a couple things to make sure. Uh, one thing for sure is make sure you have the right belt. Uh, the 2012 M8 requires a 0627083. And uh, also along with the belt number, it gives you a directional arrow. And that's just basically telling you that it's heading in the right direction when you put it on. My, uh, my general rule of thumb is if you can read the writing as you put it on, it's going in the right direction. Locking the belt back up. Your sheaves, as you can imagine, are uh, are slanted like that, tapered, and then basically, as I as I walk the sled back and forth, the belt just raises up, and the sheaves to get to the top. And then, as we put our deflection device back in there.
belt on a 2012 Articat. So depending on where the belt is sitting in the sheaves, we can uh, we can determine our belt deflection. And uh, if it's too tight, obviously you usually get like a squeal in your clutch. Uh, if it's too loose, the belt kind of drops down into the secondary, and that's just a, a, a telltale sign that you don't that your belt's a little too loose on there. So. Like I mentioned earlier when changing the belt, this is our deflection tool, this piece here. And if our belt was sitting nice and, or a little too deep in our driven pulley, we can just pop off the bowl, pop off our deflection tool. And then we can see that it's got two separate washers here on the back. And those two washers are what determine how far uh, up or down your belt sits in your driven pulley. And they're held on by an O-ring here. So basically the deal is, is that in your tool kit, they give you one more, uh, which is there's three different thicknesses of washer here. And depending on how much with you put in uh, this deflection tool to determine how far up or how far down your belt sits in your, uh, in your secondary sheave. So in that case, the belt was sitting a bit low in the secondary sheave, so what we did is we added a little bit wider washer on the back, and then that belt uh, brought the belt up further in the sheave and made the belt tighter. So in this case, we have the medium and the wide shims in there, and that's just making the belt just a little too tight no free play really in it and you can see the base of these uh, of the belts ribs are uh, above the height of the secondary sheet which is pretty inducive to uh, de-lamming a belt we're gonna keep our big fat washer on there and we're gonna put the smallest one beside it Okay, like I mentioned earlier, you can kind of get a good general uh, idea of where the belt's sitting for deflections by the base of the ribs that are on the belt, but that's not actually how you judge your belt deflection. What you want to do is take the slack out of the belt with your two hands, pitch them kind of together, and then there should be a little bit of movement around the primary clutch. So now that our bolt's on nice and tight, take our belt cover, slide it back in, Clamp it down in the front, like so. Make sure you tuck this little piece underneath the hood. And clamp your little head bolt back in. Side panel back into the two holes here. And then I like to just kind of set it up on the top lip line up the plastics at the bottom and just slide it into place and put our clip on. There you go. Ready for the snow.